to another uh, Spitfire show, issues 43 and 44. Glad I managed to get that one right. Uh, so, yeah, uh, looking forward to tonight, a bit of Wire Tie Day and everything, so should be fun. Okay, so I'll just bring in uh, some of my co-hosts, and we have a guest as well. So, first co-host is Dave Hobbies. Hello, everybody. Yeah, thanks for inviting us on tonight, Mark. And yeah, it's going to be a spiffing, fine start tonight. Spiffing, it is absolutely spiffing. <laughs> and we've got uh, Jordy Dave. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Eagle Squadron's back out on patrol again. It's going to be a good build of night, so enjoy. Okay, and uh, we do have another co host, but I think he's having technical difficulties. So I'll bring in our guest tonight. And that's Bill with Adrian. Yes. So hello, Thanks Adrian. How, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Brilliant. Right, so... Do you want yeah. to, want to just... start that while we're waiting for Horlicks? Uh, yeah, if you can, Georgie, Dave, that'd be fantastic. And uh, Dave is going to do it first of all, so I'll... Oh. We'll wait for Horlicks. I'll give him a, give a chance, couple of seconds, see if he can get in. Yeah. I, he's, oh, he's here. He's back. Oh, jolly good. All right, hang on. There you go. No, he's disappeared. Oh, he's disappeared. Harlix to have technical difficulties is never good. <laughs> he's he's in the never, like, <laughs> never good for him to have technical difficulties. He's the person that doesn't have them. No. Okay, I'll just bring him off. And then uh, John Davies can go through the chat. Oh, man. My screen's just gone stupid now. <laughs> I'm going to pick up the screen. I might have to drop on coming. I can pick up the chat, though, um, I think. Hey, no, I can't wait there. Scramble, uh, P40. I'm going to have to read it down. I'll, um, I'll highlight it. Um, P40 F20, Scramble, Eagle Squadron for King and Country. And caramel wafers. Uh, Fleetwood J must be battle of caramel wafers. As so many photos have been flown this weekend. Good luck with your build mark. <laughs> Dave Hobbies, hello friends. Daniel, hello. Friends. hello everyone. Alan Ellis, hello guys. Hello. Dave Hi. Mark, good evening, Eagle Squadron. Them Huns just don't know when where, where to give up. Christine say hi everyone, another great bill coming up with you tonight. Hi. Um Hollis, good evening all. Warren James, hi. Dave Mack, good luck with your bill tonight, Mark. I hope these screws are more kind to of you than the DeLorean. Oh gosh, yeah. John's model making, evening all. Amen. And I'm out, is that it? That's it, yeah. Okay. Hi. I'm just gonna try and sort my page out. Right, okay. It's just went to be... it's just stupid bloody mouse, man. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be having problems all over the place tonight. Harlick's is having technical difficulties and now Jody Dave. So I've just had uh if Harlick says his internet's drops is dropped. Right. Okay. So right, I've got a difficult call back. Okay, right. Oh. Oh, what is going on? Oh, got a bit more chat. I'll read this out. Go on then. Um, so, Mike Testo, damn, even when I tried to cheat, I still lit. I left a message at 3.16 p.m., so I was early. Now the system being unfair. <laughs> I'm not seeing that message. It, some, somehow StreamYard is being a bit silly. And then Mike Testo says hello. So, hello. Hello, Rick. Oh dear, what is going on? I don't know. I tell you what, we'll give it to Mike Tedstone tonight. We'll give him the gold star for being there first. Because <laughs> the cheek of it, yeah. Well, either yeah. if you showed up the show this morning, you should have left StreamYard open, you in backstage basically. Then any comments would come in, like first off, it would be not there in the first place. Ah, uh, right. Or well, it depends how many hours ago they, they sent it. Some of you two don't forward message on to. Right. Okay. I'm just going to actually check the chat, actually. I'll, and then I can definitely award him his uh, gold star. Sorry about this. 
Well, we're back. Right, hold on. Right. No, it's still not come on. It's not even on the live chat. Oh. Okay. Don't know what's going on with that. So, no. right, I suppose I better start building. Yeah. Are you caught up with all the chat? Uh, no, there's a little bit more. From Chris Davies' world, no. Chris right. Davies won me reading out and then the ones below. Right, okay, I've got it now. Chris Davies' world, tomorrow for me be issue four, stage eight, if someone can add to schedule high or. Uh, Yorkshire Crafter, hello everyone. Hello. Mike Tedstone, only wanted the caramel wafer, lol. Do you want a Rinton's one or a, or a Tunnock's one? Okay. I've got some Rinton's one somewhere. I'm going to buy some tea cakes tomorrow. Oh, tea cakes. Oh. <laughs> Definitely going to buy some tea cakes tomorrow. I'm going to buy a new mouse on this bloody computer because somehow you touch this mouse and it blows up the screen and I can't get it back to. That's why I've got to go out. Oh, well. Right, okay then, Mark. So we're uh, doing issue 43 of Bill's The Spitfire Mark 1A. And we're doing the landing light for the left wing. And uh, your parts checklist will be... Yeah. 4301, left landing light components, A to C. And we've got A, B, C. A, B, C. Okay. Okay. And then we've got uh, 4302, left landing light. There we oh, go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You just have to excuse me for a minute because... Oh, I didn't leave the landing light on. <laughs> 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 oh right, so 4303 optical fiber wingtip light. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, jolly good show. Okay, 4304 LED and cable. There we go. Cable and 4305 cable label. There we go. Mm -hmm. Jolly good. All right. Okay. So when you're ready, we'll we'll make a start. I'll pick up the chat. Uh, David Bassett. Good evening, all. Good evening, David. Chris Davis. Where do you get the caramel wafers from? Oh, Chris them? Davis. That'll be telling. Uh, anywhere sells caramel wafers. Yeah, with Poland. Mike Preston. Both. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yorkshire Crafter, yeah, please, tea cakes. Oh, yeah, with a bit of jam in them. Ooh. Uh, David Bassett, hope you're all well, and tonight's build goes well. Aye, Thank we're you, all right. 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 Horlicks is in the back room there. You can bring him in. Oh. Then uh, hopefully Alex can pick up the chat. You're back, oh, no. you're back up. Right, hang on a minute. Hello, Horlicks. <laughs> oh, as always, I always get technical difficulties and it really winds me up. So, yeah, I'm here now. Hopefully, it will be all right. I'll just reset the hub. Right. Okay. Oh, Thank you, Horlicks. Well, Horlicks, right. we're up to uh, where David Bassett, uh, I've read out David Bassett. Um, I'll read this one and then, uh, then you know where you're up to. David Bassett, chocks away. Okay. okay. Chocks away. Okay. Right. Step one then, Mark. Step one is take the LED and cable 43.4 and the cable label 43.05. Remove the label from its backing and wrap it around the cable close to the connector inset above. Trying to make it as neat as possible, but I'm not very good with stickers. Ah, oh, you're all right. You're doing well. Right. Okay. Yep. That's done. 
Okay, so step two. Fit the LED on the end of the cable 43 or 4 into the landing light 43 or 2 as shown below. It is not fixed in place at this stage. Right. Okay. Josh, that is a loose fit. Oh, well, right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, step three, and we're motoring along. Take the landing light housing, part B, from frame 4301. Fit the rectangular flange on the light into the recess in part b as shown the cable fits into a slot in the housing okay. there is a bit of uh, chat there Horlick. yeah p40f20 says uh, it's interesting the harsh gave us colored leds for the wingtip lights but plain white ones for the gun flashes Surely they could yeah. have given us yellow ones. Yeah. Could there be something else up their sleeve, I wonder? Could be. I hope so. Okay, so... Not in this way around... Don't you want to cut off the other small part as well? Good, good idea, Adrian. Thank you. Okay, right. So that goes. Uh, Chris Davy says, uh, Mark, uh, have flipped the camera around, looks good. Oh, thank you. Okay, I've got that in, Dave. Okay, so we're looking at step four then now, are we? Yeah. Step four is take the upper part of the landing light housing C from the frame 43-1 and fit uh, over the landing light uh, two small pegs on part C fit into the hole in part B. When you are happy with the fit, glue in place. The LED on the cable 43.4 is now held in place in the landing light 43.02. Make sure you do not get any glue on the LED or landing light. Right. I'm happy with the fit, but I'm not happy with this landing light. Yeah, I can tell that. Right. Gonna be a kit. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You need another hand. Eat. It's holding that. Right, that's in place. So let me get some glue on them pegs. Aye. Yeah, it just keeps coming out. All the others have been perfectly fine. But I don't know why they've gone with the design for this one. It's maybe just an awkward one. Yeah. Right. Chris yeah. Davies World says... Uh, if you had a private jet, I'd go all around the world and stop at all your places to pick you up and we could have a blast on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and Fleetwood Chase says, uh, my internet is glitching like mad while on March when my new internet is installed. Yeah, I could do a new one here, but it's not my place to, to get that done. Right, that's in, but to be sure what? You're going to clamp it. I'm going to clamp it. You're going to jet clamp it, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Right. 
Step five. Yeah. Fit the landing light housing VC onto the landing light flap A from frame 4301. Pegs on part A fit into holes in part B. As indicated, when you are happy with the fit, glue in place. Right, okay. Thought I was ahead of myself that I thought we needed to create aircraft. Yeah, you was. There's a bit more chat, Horlicks. Oh, yeah. Uh, Headstone says, uh, sorry, Chris Davies Wells says, How are you, Fleetwood? Um, and then Mike Headstone says, What scale is this, please? I believe it's 116 or 118. I can't remember now. Uh, one. Oh, God, I can't either. I've been it's doing. It's not what Chris says, 143. No, it's not, it's not 143 now. I'm just having a. 118 rings a bell, but um, I've, I've dealt in that many um, scales in the last few days that I can't remember. I'm just taking a bit of a, just to make it nice it's and smooth. This is 118th scale. 118th, is it, Adrian? I've forgotten. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I brought up the pamphlet oh, instructions good. and basically in had a look. Chris Hayes, well, I said 143 scale, I think. Um, that's certainly not correct. We've got Chris Davis, well, Mark being crafty tonight, laugh out loud. And people see a 20 to the edge of the landing light flat may need some heavy parting line flash sounded off. Right, well, that's why I've got my sanding block all ready. Oh, yeah. Is that what you do with your nails with, Mac? Well, that's not like that. This is actually a, a nail file. Yeah. <laughs> but it's got different grades on it. Yeah. So you start from one. Yeah. Um, and then you go to two, three, four, and then it's just got different grades on it. So, you, you know, you can match what you want into sand. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully that's glued now. Yes. Okay. So now you've got to put your landing light on it. Yeah. Just going to test fit. Chris Davies well says, sorry, P4020 says 118th scale. Yeah. And then uh, Chris Davies well says, I bet Mark doesn't manage to all laugh out loud. <laughs> you saw the state of my nails? No. Same as I chew my nails. Yeah. Oh my god! I do. I've got no nails at all. Do you find you get a bit of neck ache when you do your toes? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. You know, do that you, a long time ago, I used to be able to do that. Can't do that now. <laughs> Too much belly fat in the way. <laughs> Right, one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to... Can't even reach my toes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see it. <laughs> right, that's Thank gone you. in. And again, I'm going to put a clamp on it. Just, just to be sure. Yeah, just to be sure. To be sure right, to be sure. okay. Okay, so... In step six, uh, we take the wing, wing tip light 4303 and fit it into the recess near the end of the wing tip 3101. Uh, two pegs on the wing tip fit into notches uh, circled. The light, as indicated by arrows, this is a push fit connection. Do not use glue. You may want to use a little masking tape to hold the wingtip light in place until the wing is complete. Okay, so this is where your tape will come in handy. Mark? It's got to be electrical tape. Yeah. It's got to be. Can't be anything um. else. Chris Davies well says it's uh, laugh out loud creasing me. 
And you know what? I'm, as I said, I'm going to begun uh, fiber optics. I'm actually thinking of uh, wrapping some in insulation tape around them. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, yeah, done. Okay, so you'll be glad to know, Mark, that that is completed well. Uh, the landing light has been assembled below and the wing tip light has been fitted to the left wing right. And um, I think our next week's parts will be, um, your next set of parts will be landing gear, accessories, LED cable, cable label and screws for next right. week, which is issue 44. But we don't have to wait till next week. We can just um, hand the microphone over to Jordy Dave and Jordy Dave will take it away with issue 44. I'm just going to say something uh, first before we do a 44. Um, okay. So the cardboard frame we get for the Spitfire, we all know is a bit flimsy and everything. So what I've done, if I've actually put some stronger cardboard underneath and glue gunned it in place to give yeah. some strength, then if I lift this up to stop the aircraft from moving around and do this, I put elastic bands on the contact points, just cut an elastic band and super glued them on and that stops it from sliding. Brilliant. So Absolutely brilliant. I just thought I'd share that with anybody who wants to do that. I just think it's easier. You can work on it a lot better. Yeah, fabulous. Okay. Okay, then we're going to be fitting the landing lights to the left wing. Okay. What if we both check this? Yes, I am. 44 watt LED cable, cable gates and grips, that's 80 inch. Right, so here we are. Uh, oh, gosh, right. A, B, C, D, and E. Okay. Uh, 44 2, 3 PB, 1.4 by 3 millimeter screws, 1 square. Uh, which are in there. Okay. 44 3, 3 PB, 2 by 4 millimeter screws, 1 square. Which again are in there. And 44 4 LED and cable. Which is here. A 44.5 cable label. Cable label. Uh, there's a note here. Uh, due to the last minute modifications to the operation of the landing reality, parts B and D on the frame 4401 were not needed. So that would be that part there, the bottom, and that part there. Okay. Okay, right, one. Take the LED cable, 44.4, and the cable label, 44.5. Remove the label from its back end and wrap around the cable close to the connection in set the roof. Yeah, I'm tempted to make my own labels up because these are paper and they're just, they're not that right good. Uh, maybe so that you've got the right label when it goes into the connection box, isn't it? You just, no, you just want an excuse to use the label maker. Of yeah. course! <laughs> of course I need an excuse to use the cable uh, label maker. The cable label maker. Cable label maker, yeah. <laughs> it's highly addictive. It is. Okay, yeah, I've done that. Okay, right, you're going to need, you're going to need the wig then. Okay. So we've got some chat. Alan Ellis uh, asks if we know if there any if there is any sound on this model. I don't I, know actually. I there believe is. there is. I think there is. Yeah. Right. Ready. Oh. Okay. Uh, fit the fit the flat side of the landed assembly part forty three. Or one e through the corresponding hole in the wing 3101 and then arrange it so it's flush with the outside of the wing panel. The bar on the port 431 fits into a recess circled. The landing light can tip up and down 
the insert ratio of the port is. Right. Just going to take that wire out of place. Because it's very near the uh, machine guns. Okay, so. It's right. P40F20 says, uh, it would have been better if, if you would have used felt rather than elastic bands. Um. Right. Okay, for some reason that might need adjusting. Because it's not lining up at all. Just trying to. Oh no, it's. Yeah, it's now working. Good. I believe so. Yeah. Strange that though. I don't know if I've got. Right. Okay. I'm. I'm happy with that. It's. It's in right. Well, it's looking. Take the rod grip. Pull it here from three and forty-four wood. Which I believe is. Uh, that one there. Well, you've got it off the roll. Yeah. Well, I check the fit of the hose in port here over the rear studs on the wing panel. Gosh. So that the rod on the on a port 43 what they held in place. Are you happy with the fit? Glue in place so that the port 43 one is held in place. Really? Yeah, so we're going to let the stones and glue it down. Now you know why I used mine on with tweet tweeters. Yeah. Right, that definitely fits. Because Dave Max says that, um, yes, the sound's on it and it works with the remote control that comes with it. It's exciting. Uh, Mike Pedstone says, I've worked out the lights work. Anything else, though, like the landing gear up and down? Yes, it does. Uh, I think you've already installed the motor on it, haven't you? Uh, uh, yes, for the landing gear, yes. Yeah, there's like a motor with like a, a metal cable that runs through through the gearbox, and then, um, yeah, it will uh, make them come up and down. I believe if you want to go to the uh, after this stream, if you want to go to the Hachette uh, YouTube site and um, punch in um, Spitfire Mark One A, they do have a promo video of this Spitfire and what it can and can't do, and it's very very interesting. It's only about two or three minutes long, but uh, the promo video on the on this build is absolutely fabulous. Hmm. Went in fine when I test fitted it. Now it's just, yeah. Try again. In fact, let me try some different tweezers. They might be better. Come on. Got it. Yeah. Okay. All right, just going to hold that there for a second. Okay, yeah, happy with that. Okay. Can you part me from frame 44 wood? Right. Uh... Part A. E. E. Oh, sorry. E. Uh, two seconds. Yeah, yeah, got it. Uh, Dave Matt says everything works with the remote at my headstone. 
Chris Davies right. says, um, "Is the place for the speak? Is the spe is the is there a place for the speaker for the sound? Yeah." Um, and then David Bassett says, uh, "Presuming the sound is in the base that the, sit the Spitfire sits on, I'd imagine so." Yeah. Okay, I've got that part off. Uh, fit it over the other end of the line in assembly. Fix it in place with two PB two by four meter screws. Now the tightness of these screws adjusts the stiffness of the landed blade hinge. So it might be a bit of fettling after this stream then. Wires in the way, isn't it? Yeah. yeah better. So don't fully lock them down or you'll be the air will be a lot of lights. No. Just making sure I get this on the wrong way right way, sorry, not the wrong way. Right, okay. Uh screw it down with P B two times four. Yes. Two of them. No, I just want two. Hey. Right, that one's in just, only just. I'll get the other one in. Now it's biting. Well, that's not too bad, actually. Remember, the tightness of these screws against the stiffness of the land and late in. Right, Mike, let me back it off a little bit. Yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, don't forget you'd be anchoring the cables down shortly, so that might yeah. make a difference. Right. right. Okay, four five. Take the yeah. LA on the cable, 44.4. Yeah. Uh, and position it on the wing so that the LED light will light up the, fi the optical fiber of the wing tip light. The cable runs along a channel in the wing panel, 3101. Gain the cable through the notches in the wing and panel, which is circled. Mm. Okay. So that's going to have to be taped in. I mean, it does fit in with the notches, but. Yeah. I think it's going to be definitely better with a bit of tape on it just to keep it in place. Absolutely. Right. So it comes down. It's going across. A couple of notches there. Yeah. Okay, build with Adrian. Oh no. Uh, David Bassett says that no, it's very fiddly, Mark. Yeah. Uh, build with Adrian has posted a YouTube link. Uh, that is the link to the harsh, basically, that's harsh, 
video basically of the aircraft. Okay, lovely. And then Chris Davis as well says, sorry, that was an hour off the last message, so I did remove it. That's fine. What we'll do for because you've got to look here, what's the tidy up here? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, stick, stick. Take the landing light LED cable 443 and arrange it in the notches in the wind frame. Use the cable under the loop in the wind frame. Know that the landing gear light is tipped downwards. Right, so landing your life gear is tipped downwards. And then underneath that. You're going to love this, Horlux. Yeah. Cable management. Just putting that on temporary for now, just to hold that wire in place. Could you uh, remove the camera over a bit? Or the, yeah. or the aircraft, that's it. Is that better? Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I've got that in. Right, take the machine gun LED cable. 4004 and the wing tip LED cable 4404 and fit them through the gate pulled by two wrist sockets on the left wing panel. Right. So that's the gate there. Yep. So that one's going through there. And then that one's going through there. Right. Now, take part C from the frame, 4401, and fit it over the top of the gate to hold the key was in place. Fix in place with two PB 1.4 for me with screws. Right, let me get them screws ready on the screwdriver. See. Two of them. Gosh, they're like yeah. they are like uh, the Rootmaster NM screws. Oh no! Yes. Oh. The return of the Rootmaster NM screws. Why do you do this to us? <laughs> That's all right, though. You've got to wear a screwdriver and a new magnetical thing. Yeah. yeah. At least the wear a screwdriver is not going to go to waste once the Rootmaster's completed. Mm. Because when I did mine, I actually fitted all the wires in place in the rest along. Then I went back to this stage to fit that on. Right. So I really sort of ran the instruction, really. I'll see how it goes. I mean, it's looking okay. Let me get the other one in. I'm having to wear, use my zero, zero, zero. Yeah. Because these are tiny. That's so nice. Chris Davis says, looking good, Mark. Thank you. Uh, Davis Ware also says, anything electrical horror to jump on and onto it? Yeah, 100%. Uh, David Bassett says, lots of electrical tape for Horlicks to do when he gets to this issue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, David Bassett says, NM screw stands for nightmare. Yeah. Right, I've done step eight. Okay. Um... 
Right, fit the cameras 44 04 40 04 from the notches in the wing. Same 23 01 circle next to the landing light cable 43 04. Then stick the cables under the loop in the wing frame arrow. This is actually quite relaxing now. Yeah, relaxing when you're coming to the end. Sounds about right though, doesn't it? Comes relaxing when you're coming to the end of it. Just making sure cables aren't twisted up with other cables. And it's not as easy trying to get it in that loop. Right, that's that one in. And that's all of them in. Right. Ten. You can test the movement of the landing gear light, which is operated manually. The flap should be operated from below. Do not turn the motor over as this may damage parts. Push on the near edge of the flat side of the landing gear like the 7401 to open. Right. So, they want you to test it from underneath but not turn it upside down? Yeah. Really? <laughs> How is that even possible? <laughs> I mean, come on. I think it's the way they said it, so... Just pee, pee my chain over and just put it on the table sort of thing. But as you've right. got like a cardboard stand, you can easily rest it on the cardboard stand. Pressing the front edge of the landing gear like you're something would close it. Yeah, I've done that. And then press it on the on the rear and open it. There we go. So it opens and closes. Yeah. There you go. Well, that's how you do it. Oh, brilliant. Excellent. Oh. Coming in issue 45 is doing it all over again. <laughs> oh, right landing light, an optical light for the wing tip, plus an LED cable and cable label. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm. Um... And just point out that image is showing the parts of that image that is not correct what we receive. Oh, right, okay. Or if they painted that image, they missed out a bit of a green. Right, so I'm just grouping all them together. Get a cable tie. Well, not cable tie. The thing that they wrap the cables in. And then they are all securely together. That's a and good not, idea. not all over the place. Yeah. That's a good idea. And just like that. So that, they're just nice and tidy now and they won't get in the way while I'm trying to do probably work on the next wing. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. So yeah. Nice. Well, with Jay says oh, I can see another love for this tape sticker from Paul Lux on his build. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and David Baptist says, Well done, Mark. Thank you. Um, John's model making says top job, Mark. Thank you. Wow. I was uh, towards, doing the cables at the end wasn't too bad. But it was get them getting them little things in was a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. But nice. No, it's, it's adding to it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Right, let me sort my cameras out. I'll be back with you. Okay. Okay, so Fleetwood J says, looking good, Mark. Well done. Back to the officer's mess for a brew and a caramel wafer. <laughs> and uh, Dave Max says, great job, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, brownish caramel wafer. Yeah, lovely. I thought I had some, but I don't actually know where it is. I, I've got a brand new packet. We've got uh, I'm actually brought them in here tonight, so and uh, I'm going to save one for my supper, I think. Oh, found the secret stash. Oh my God! I have to go to Poland and buy some more. <laughs> caramel wafer. Oh. <laughs> what should we call the caramel wafer channel? Yeah, well, maybe should be. <laughs> <laughs> what, what got the caramel wafer started? What got it started? I, I don't know. <laughs> no idea. But they are good. No idea. They're ever too good. Um, oh, well, P40F20 says test the lights, mm. and P40F20 says well done, Eagle Squadron. That's good. Test the lights. Yeah. yeah, really, they didn't tell us to actually. Yeah. I did, so I thought. Well, maybe I even test the uh, landing light one, basically. No more put me gluing it in, and yeah. yeah. Sorry, Holly, show that caramel wafer again. Look at the blood. Sorry, had to be done. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> um, Dave Max says her caramel wafer is simply British. Yeah, I'm going to get the uh, Tunnock's uh, tea cakes tomorrow at the uh, at the supermarket. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, the caramel wafers and Tunnock's do. <laughs> we should be sponsored by Tunnock's. That should be the thing. My, my Rington's man didn't have any um, tea cakes. Otherwise, I would have got some of them as well. <laughs> right. Excellent. No, I'm quite chuffed with that tonight. It's, uh, yeah. I presume that's all the electrics in that wing then done now. Oh, no, there's the flaps in that. Flaps have got to open down. Probably done about them. Yeah. Yeah, could be. Don't, don't, don't forget to schedule mm. more. Right, schedule. Hang on. I'm on it. Uh, apologies last night that we didn't do the schedule. Um, Holix did have other engagements, and that's why the stream ended very suddenly. Yeah. Yeah, it was my fault. Completely forgot about it. Well, I didn't forget about it, but time just disappeared. Okay. And I was like, oh, no. Okay, so tomorrow is uh, the 1st of February, uh, Monday, mm. and it is Chris Davies' World, Ecto 1, Issue 4, Stage 8. Uh, that's at 8 o'clock on Chris's channel. But I do believe they dual stream it, don't they? So it's on both Chris Campling's and Chris Davies' channel as well. Um, yeah. And then on Tuesday, this is to be confirmed again. We don't know. It's build with Adrian. Uh, I was. I know. I think Adrian's definitely doing a build, but he just. I don't. He doesn't know what it is at the moment. But there will be something. That'll be at seven thirty uh, that night. Yeah. And then we've got uh, Wednesday. We've got Penny's Pit Stop and Yorkshire Crafter, and the Paint with Diamond Show Twenty Six. And that's at two o'clock on both their channel. Twenty doesn't seem like twenty-six shows they've done. Really? Really does. It seems like they only started a, a little bit ago. So it must be good because we're all yeah. enjoying it. Um, unfortunately, Penny can't make that one because she's on a course. So I think it's a case of watch this space. And then mm -hmm. on Thursday, oh sorry, Wednesday evening, 
Uh, we've got Penny's Pit Stop, uh, and it is the part work show, Route Master. Now, it's saying 111 and 112, but I think that might be a bit different. I don't think they confirmed the issue numbers on that, and that's at 8 o'clock. And then on Thursday, it's over to Horlix, and he's doing his Route Master 128 to 130. So oh. I think everybody needs to tune in for that one to see him finally finish his bus. Yeah, and get as many likes as possible on that video. Yeah, yeah, it could. Be. I mean, I'm actually, I might even be thinking of changing that to okay. half past seven because I'm going to be doing some uh, a modification as well. So I'm thinking oh, yeah. it half an hour may may help me out with that. Um, yeah, but I'll confirm that near the time. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then on Friday it's Horlix again. And he'll be doing Spitfire, I believe, issue from issue 21 onwards, because we did 20 yesterday evening, didn't we? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so that'll be 21 onwards. Um, there is nothing booked in for Saturday yet, um, that's, so that's a free night. And then uh, it's saying on here, build with Adrian on Sunday, uh, Spitfire 45-46. And that's the schedule. I just like that? to point yeah. out, I might be doing a show on Wednesday about six o'clock. Right, okay, that's not on the schedule. No, I'm putting it on the schedule because I don't say what it might be yet. All oh, right, okay. Well, good job you reminded me, reminded us, Adrian, because I would have forgotten about that. If it's not on the schedule, I'm just not seeing it, you see. So, right. Uh, yeah. You mean, you mean I should create a private schedule, so basically... You... Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it's all right, because the other day, I took this schedule, I copied and pasted it, I put it into a new spreadsheet, and I've worked out all the issues that I'll be doing throughout the entire year. So this yeah. has really helped me out, this schedule. So, right, is there any more chat? Yes, there is. So... Um... Fleetwood J says, need an airdrop of caramel wafers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alan, Alan Ellis says that he didn't, didn't it mean, didn't it mention air brakes? Hmm. No, I don't think it Draw. did. We would have done the air brakes by now, wouldn't we? I can't um, remember. On a model, how well would you have air brakes on it? You would be so fine tuned, basically, if you had wheels actually turning. I think basically those wheels on the will be set, they won't be landing and turning. Right. Okay. The wheels um, are. The wheels don't turn on it. No, they don't. No. Air brakes are different though. On the aircraft, it open, it slows the aircraft right the way down so they can do a tight turn. I right. Know, I don't know whether the Spitfire was fitted with them. I know modern jets have them, but I don't know about. Yeah, for no. the online casters. Uh, air brakes? No. 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 I think the, they um, were a modern thing on the mo on modern jets. Be, air yeah, yeah, they'd be um, mechanical brakes, wouldn't they? I would have thought. Yeah. Off, well, off, on the off the wing, are you fine? It might be an extra flap on the wing. Usually on uh, an air brake, it's usually like an extra flap on the wing, so a jet can do a tight turn. These big, big things have the wood for slowing them down. Right, doing these yeah. big airliners have the wood. Yeah. Right, okay. Uh, is yeah. that it, Horlix? Oh. Right, we've got Yorkshire Crafter saying, uh, yeah, six months we've been doing the show now. It's wow. that's gone really quick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, P40F20, so it was Alan Ellis. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. ones uh, and not air brakes. Uh, David Bassett says flaps and uh, uh, <laughs> ailerons. I can never say yeah. <laughs> Aileron, something like that. Uh, Alan Ellis says air brakes or on the wing. Yeah. B40 of 20 says David Bassett it does not have working flaps. <clears throat> and P40 of 20 says prop driven aircraft do not have air brakes. I thought they didn't. I thought it was a Yeah. I'm wondering, yeah. 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 Okay. 
Right, you well, find, if you've ever, if turns, as soon as they land, they'd probably turn the prop basically flat. Basically, not pulling forward. It's not pulling itself forward. Basically, it's just momentum will slow down. If you've ever watched the film Top Good, you suddenly it looks like the plane stops in midair. It's flying, you chases, and all of a sudden you you, you put the air brakes on the plane. The plane goes like that. The other one goes underneath, and he dropped behind. That's right. what the air brakes. It's the extra thing. It, it it stops the flow of the wing. So the aircraft like goes like, like breaks, like stops. Ah, right. Yeah. And you know, it allows your aircraft. So it's used. In, it was used in Top Gun with a dogfight. Yeah. It, caused, it caused your aircraft to overrun, so he could drop in behind and take them out. Right. David Bassett says air brakes were on planes. Oh, sorry, were on jets post war. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh, people get yeah, aircraft have air brakes. Right, okay. Oh gosh, cuckoo. <laughs> Are we going to make Dave sing though? No, not tonight. <laughs> Only joke. <laughs> right, well, I think we've said um, everything we've got to say, haven't we? So, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll go. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Right, I'll let our guests say goodbye first. So, that's Bill Adrian. Yep, thank you, Mark. Yes, good show, Mark. Thank you very much. Yeah, you found it a little bit easier than I did. Yeah. Um, so, is there anything else, Adrian? No, I think that's it. Thank you. Right. Um, and then, this is the second time Horlicks has been on one of my lives, so we have the fabulous Horlicks. Lovely, yeah. Thank you very much for having me on. Um, yeah, really great. Nice to see what I've got coming up. I can't wait to get that far. So, mind you, it won't be long. So, um, we'll see what we get done next week. Um, but yeah, good show. And um, yeah, see you all on the next stream. Okay. And um, Jordi Dave. Yep. Thanks for having me on. Um, Eagle Squadron of No Return to, to Base in the Mess for some caramel wafers. And good day for <laughs> Okay. And finally, my fellow Yorkshireman and wingman. Yes, <laughs> Thanks for having us on tonight, Mark. Uh, brilliant build. Yeah, I can't wait to get into my Spitfire. I've got now got 46 issues or something like that, uh, and I've only done one of them, and that's because I've been busy on my buses and uh, other things. So they're soon to be completed, and I'll soon be into my Spitfire. So I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait at all. So thanks for joining us tonight. And as ever, give uh, Mark a nice good thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next uh, next show sometime. I think I'll probably be on uh, Thursday, Thursday maybe next. Okay, take care till then. <laughs> and it's just for me to say good night. Thank you for everybody tuning in. Thank you for everybody uh, who participated in the chat quite a lot tonight, which is really nice. And I'll uh, catch you on the next one. So it's bye from me. Yeah, but uh, there's just a little bit more chat. Sorry. Yeah. Go on. David Bassett says, never in the field of conflict has so much been owed by so many to so few cuckoos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah. <laughs> on that note. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next time.